featured musical tonight is Little Me. Based on the Patrick Dennis novel of the same name, it tells the story of a fictitious movie queen called Belle Potrine. The rise to stardom is littered with the bodies of many strange lovers, all played by the one actor in the show. From Nancy Hayes as Belle, both young and old, here is Little Me. So, Belle, you got to come to my party tonight, right? Gee, no, but I'd love to, but you live on not. It doesn't really matter, because I like you. Oh. <laughs> and you got to come to the party, all right? Oh, no, but yes, I'd love to. I'll see you tonight. It'll be terrific. Okay, <laughs> bye now, boy. On the other side of the tracks, that is where I'm going to be. On the other side of that great divide Between fame and fortune and me Gonna put my shadows behind me Give my inhibitions the axe And tomorrow morning you'll find me On the other side of the track On the other side of that line where the life is fancy and free Gonna sit and fan on my fat divan While the buffer bubbles the tea But for now I'm facing the fences And I can't afford to relax Cause the whole caboodle commences On the other side of the track So I'm off and running over the rail I'm going gunning after the quail Off and running, send me my mail To that great big world on the other I needed money. And it was then that rich old Mr. Pinchley, my landlord, entered my life. Listen, Miss Potrine, I want your rent. But Mr. Pinchley, I just don't have the money. Money, money. Oh. Yes, <laughs> I'm sure that we can come to some arrangements. Oh, Mr. Pinchley, you know, deep down inside, you're a darn nice fella. You really think so? Somewhere there's a darn nice fella deep down inside. Uh, go on. <laughs> deep down inside, Mr. Pinchley, deep down in the old <laughs> sub cellar. Somewhere, though, I think he fell asleep down inside. Yes. Deep down, digger, digger, deep down inside. <laughs> you try it now. I, I mean, I'd be embarrassed. Oh, of course you could. Go you, on. You really think so? Yes. All right, I will. All right, here I am. Sometimes I'm a darn near human, deep down inside. A deep down inside, Mr. Pinchley. Ah, deep down where the bass is booming. Sometimes gotta take that broom and sweep down inside. Sweep down, dig a dig a deep down inside. Hey, I like it. Keep going. All right, I will. No, no man is a true pariah. Deep down inside. Deep, deep down inside. Deep down in the old spare tire. No man. Listen to this. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you rent free for the week. <laughs> and heat for the winter. <laughs> You've made me so happy, Dimples. You've got to marry me. Oh, Mr. 
Mr. Pinchley, I couldn't do that. If you don't marry me, I'll shoot myself. Oh, Mr. Pinchley. Oh, well, all right. Good. If I move, I'll die. What? If I move, I'll die. Oh, don't die, don't die! <laughs> Instant success. I was discovered by the great German film director, Otto Schnitzler. Action? Oh. No, this <laughs> is no good, pal. No good! Stand there, Rudy. Now, this is what you do. You see, you take the dagger and you plunge it into your chest and... Prop away. Yes, sir? You... you couldn't get a fake dagger, huh? <laughs> While entertaining the troops during World War I, I met the true love of my life, Fred Poitry. Mm -hmm. Pardon me, miss, but I never done this with a real live girl. Straight off the farm with an actual lot full of real live girls. Pardon me if your affectionate squeeze fogs up my glasses and buckles my knees. I'm simply drowned in the scent and the sight and the sound and the feel of a real life girl. 